Welcome back to Naples, Florida. Adam Bazalgette here, two-time PGA Teacher of the Year Award winner down here. Today's subject, how to putt straight. So how to putt straight? Well, I'm gonna show you a little bit about technique that I think would help you with that, but I'm also gonna show you what I think is one of the leading problems people have in putting and that really affects us. So we'll get into that. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. I have a lot of free content already and more coming your way here at YouTube. My home website, scratchgolfacademy.com, have courses in every aspect of the game, a whole course on putting. And you can also go there to learn how we can do a one-on-one -on -one internet golf lesson. So let's get started. So the first thing, let's just say, is that in reality, all putts are straight putts, at least from the perspective of the person hitting it. This putt breaks a little bit approximately towards where I've put that white tee in there. For me, I'm trying to hit a straight putt towards that tee. And of course, it's simply gravity that will call, cause the ball to break. So let's have a look. And you can see the ball, if I hadn't left it short, was tapering back to the hole. So straight putts are every putt. Now let me just say one thing here, because this is critical as we touch on technique. Your posture, probably more than anything, will affect how easily you can get the putt online. Or at least let's say it's a major effect. And what I mean by that is the taller you stand, the more rounded your pivot becomes. And unless you're manipulating the club with your hands, your stroke starts to get a lot rounder. You could certainly hit a straight putt if you time it right for the precise part of that stroke, but it's more difficult. So great players bend over a lot more when they putt, which gives them more of this look, and it really helps get the putter on a more true line or at least closer to one relative to the target line. Let me show you a great player and show you the difference between regular posture and putting posture. So I couldn't resist. I want to use Jack Nicklaus, one of my favorite all-time players. These are two famous shots. On the left is the putt he beat Doug Sanders with in the 1970 British Open playoff. And of course, on the right is the famed 1986 Masters win. That's the tee shot. But just look at the difference in the overall bend of his back and his posture. And uh, there's a dramatic difference. And you want to see some of that when you relate your putting posture to what might be normal posture in other shots. So as you look at the putting posture, what's going to enable you to bend over the ball a little bit more is you've got to let your arms fold a little bit. If you stick your arms, and you can do this at home, straight out in front of you there, and then let your arms crimp and fold, relax your shoulders as you do that until your triceps kind of touch the inside of your rib cage. That's how much your arms should be folded. Clubs in a nice straight line with my forearms. And once I've created this crimp here, it allows me to bend over a lot more. Another factor that's critical, of course, is the length of the putter. I see a lot of lady golfers, junior golfers, a little bit shorter in stature putting with putters that are much more a sort of a men's standard length, which, by the way, fits about a six foot two guy as an average. I've got a whole course on putting back at Scratch Golf Academy, and we touch on approximate lengths of putters for height of people. It might be kind of helpful for you. But if you have a putter that's the wrong length for you, it's going to affect your posture. But let's say this. If you can connect your arms, get a little crimp in your arms, relax your shoulders, and if your putter is appropriately fit, you'll have approximately the sort of bend that you see the best players have, and it's going to help the path of your stroke. Now let's have a look at that most common fault that I see and check that out. So I'll go ahead and say it, and that's this. I hope it doesn't sound like blasphemy to you. I'm not a big believer in head down. I don't like to see people putt and just keep their head there indefinitely. The reasons for that, Hey, when you watch the ball roll, you learn a lot about pace, distance control. You have to watch a lot of balls roll over time to get good at that. And you learn about your own stroke a little bit, and your brain can make minute subconscious adjustments when you get feedback. Now, certainly, let's say if you're three feet away, hey, the ball's just gotten started, I think then you should listen to it go in. You shouldn't have looked up by then. But again, if you watch the ball roll, not only can you learn a lot, but if the ball rolls by the hole four or five feet, you'll have watched the break. You'll have previewed the break a little bit for the comeback putt. So it's not so much looking up that's the problem, it's the way people do it. And what they generally do is they move their entire body and look at the hole like that, which dramatically and very negatively affects the direction of stroke. So my old buddy and compatriot at Ledbetter, Scott Holden, great teacher, used to tell students, hit, hold, look. And what he meant by that was strike the ball. The, as soon as the putter is stopped, that's hold, then look. So it was hit, hold, look. And it's the way your head moves, it swivels that's key. Let's change angles. 
So the problem is that when people do look at the hole, they look at it as you would look at things in everyday life or close to it, level shoulders, level eyes. And when you go through and you look at a putt like that, what's gonna happen is the club's gonna wheel around you this way. It's gonna completely change the arc of the stroke, but we just get used to doing it. So if you're gonna look at the ball as I've suggested you do on slightly longer than, let's say three, four, five foot putts, once you've hit and hold and you look, you should just swivel your head. And the key is you'll be looking at the hole with the tilted eye angle, something that more matches your, your body tilt. And if you can do that, hey, you're going to stay in a good steady position with your spine and you're not going to add this in. So remember, hit some putts without a hole initially and train yourself that when you swivel your head, you'll be looking at it like this. You'll get used to it in no time flat, I promise you. A little awkward at the beginning, but in no time flat, that'll seem natural to you. Well, I hope that helps you with how to putt straight. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. We've got a lot of free content, plan to get more coming your way. Leave a comment if you'd like. I'll try to get to whatever subject that you find of interest. ScratchGolfAcademy.com is my website. We have full courses in every aspect of the game. As I said earlier, we have a whole course in putting. And of course, you can learn there how we can do one-on-one -on -one internet golf instruction. Thanks again for your time.